Hey there and welcome, my name is Santi. This is the first out of a series of videos to help you learn Asana the right way. You can find a YouTube playlist of the video series in the description so that you can jump to the one that is most relevant to you. This first video is gonna be dedicated to first steps, so breaking down a little bit of what are the advantages of using Asana for task management, especially in collaboration with the team, as well as just literally creating the account, like just the first day on Asana. Now, if you're already committed to Asana and this is the tool that you want to use to manage tasks with your team, and you like some one-on-one -on -one help to set things up the right way and develop really advanced and cool systems, I offer Asana consultation services. So if you'd like to work with me, check out that in the description for more information. Now with that said, let's get started. And right now we're gonna talk about why Asana is worth learning. In one of my previous videos, I was using the scale to rate different apps and how good they are at managing tasks. And as you can see, Asana ranks really high in a lot of these areas. One of the only few disadvantages is that Asana is not that easy to learn, but that is really because it has really nice advanced features. There's a lot of moving pieces when you're getting started developing your system. But overall, the reason why Asana is such an amazing tool to learn is because it can be used to collaborate with your team members. If you are the business owner and you delegate tasks to other team members, Asana is going to be incredible for that, but what's really cool is that you can also manage your personal tasks in there, meaning that you don't need to have all of your tasks scattered across different apps. Each team member can develop nice workflows to see what tasks are assigned to them, which ones are the ones that they should work on, and which are the ones that they can delegate. And what's really cool, something I love about Asana, is that it even has the benefit that it has really nice common system, meaning that you can have full conversations inside of Asana, which is something I personally use quite heavily. I used to use Slack to communicate with my team, but now we just do it all inside of Asana because it has replaced the use for Slack. We can just continue all communications related to different tasks, and we can just continue our conversations in the most relevant place. And on top of that, each team member can manage all of their personal tasks in one same app, which I think is a huge advantage. So that's how I recommend using it. Now, with all of that said, we're going to go to the Asana website and we're going to create a new account to show you things from scratch. All right, so right now we're going to create our Asana account. Just going to enter your email to create a new one. Just a general rule, by the way, you can always use Sign Up with Google. I tend to avoid that if possible. So that is why I'm just going to enter my demo email in here. We're going to sign up and it's going to ask me to verify this on my emails. We're just going to click on that. There we go. You can enter your name as you like it. You can always change it later. Profile photo, you can always add it later. So don't worry too much about that. And just in case you're still doing the thing of memorizing passwords, I highly recommend you save them. My preferred way to save passwords is something called Bitwarden. This app right here, the free version is more than enough. Not having this is the source of a lot of Headache. I'm going to create a new one, this bit warden, and I usually use a Chrome extension, but right now this is what I can show you, right? Without revealing all of my important stuff. But what I'm doing here is I just enter my email, name it something like Asana, and then I can automatically generate a password, which now I can just copy. I'm going to save this. And I was as simple as just pasting that. And now that is a super safe password that is already saved in my account in my password manager. So continue. This is just Asana asking you who you are and stuff like that. None of those answers really affect the way that you use Asana, so don't worry too much about it. Now, this is Asana kind of creating default projects for you. Now, the way that I'll show you things, I just think it's easier not to do this, so you're just going to continue skip for now. And here you have your new account with a 30-day trial, right? I'm going to explain this in a second. So let's get started. Here we have it. As you can see, because we didn't select the project name, it created something random and it created some random tasks. <laughs> with some default parameters and tags as well. I'm actually going to delete this because we don't need it. So delete project. There we go. Now here are my tasks. You will notice a bunch of things that Asana created by default. Now, because I will show you this whole process, personally, I'm going to delete this. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on the first task, press shift and click on the last one. And that's how you select everything. You'll notice that everything is like blue, right? Here, you're going to see a way to make changes in bulk. So what we're going to do right now is we're actually going to delete all of those. Those are deleted, projects are empty, everything's ready to go. If you go here to home, you're going to notice essentially almost an introductory tutorial just walking you through what is what. I'll just explain them real quick. Customize home is like this thing right here. You can drag and drop in whatever order you like. You can customize and add more things such as having like a private notepad like that where you can just write some stuff just for yourself without any of your teammates being able to see that. Right now, we're going to delete that. This is something really to customize later. So right now, I wouldn't really worry about this complete your profiles. And here I do actually recommend uploading a profile photo, especially as you add more members, it's just easy to visually know who is who. So upload your photo, find a photo you like, and there you go. Perfect. And while we're here in settings, you can also, if you are crazy and like light mode, you can use that. 
but I don't know why you would like to burn your retina. So dark mode is a lot nicer. Right now, we really don't need to focus too much on the other settings. Those are the main ones. You can close this. Now, when we created our account, you notice it said start free trial. Now, one great thing about Asana is that it is very generous with its free plan. Then if you do want to pay, you can see that this price is if you pay annually and this is the actual price if you pay month to month. The free plan is very powerful and in my opinion one of the main reasons to go for a higher plan really is if you want to automate workflows with integrations and so on. And one thing that I just find extremely helpful is what they call Asana Intelligence. So it's AI built into Asana, but this is obviously a decision that is really going to depend on the size of your business, how many people you want to collaborate with and bring onto the team and so on. But after the 30 day trial expires, you're going to have to make the decision whether you want to keep using it with the free plan or if it's worth it for you to upgrade and see how many members you want to bring on and so on. Cool. Now the apps is actually something I do recommend doing early on. You can click in here. That's going to open asana.com slash download. You can always type that to find the desktop app as well as the mobile apps. The mobile apps are actually really good. They're just a really nice way to capture tasks on the go, as well as being able to see what you have going on in your Asana. So I do recommend that. And I also do recommend you install the desktop app and use that instead of the browser. Something really cool about downloading the Windows app is that you can actually have a shortcut that works across your whole computer to capture tasks quickly. So let me actually minimize all of these and I'll show you. You can use the shortcut, which in Windows is Ctrl Shift Plus, like that. That will open a pop-up window, which in my case appeared in my second monitor, but it's here. And that can help you create new tasks on the fly. New tasks, right? And you can send this and send it to your Asana from anywhere you are, which is a huge benefit of the desktop app. Great. Next video, we're actually going to start setting some things up and showing you how everything works inside of Asana. Like I mentioned, if you do want some one-on-one -on -one help, you can work with me. More information in the description. Depending on what you're watching this, there will be slots available where you can book a call with me and we can talk about what you would like to achieve with Asana to see if we're a good fit to work together. So if you're interested, do check out that in the description. So I hope to see you there. If not, I'll see you on the next videos on this playlist. Hope you enjoy them.